In the vast landscape of machine learning, where algorithms strive to unlock the mysteries hidden within vast datasets, a powerful technique emerges. Ensemble learning, like a symphony of minds, working in harmony, ensemble learning combines the diverse perspectives of multiple models to create an entity greater than the sum of its parts. Just as a conductor unifies musicians to create a captivating melody, ensemble learning orchestrates the collective intelligence of individual learners, producing predictions of unparalleled accuracy and robustness. Drawing inspiration from the wisdom of crowds, this captivating approach explores the art of collaboration among algorithms, leading us to a world where the whole truly surpasses the individual in the pursuit of knowledge. According to recent studies, AI and machine learning related job postings have increased by 344% in past 5 years. Companies across the globe are actively seeking professionals who can harness the power of data and build intelligent systems. The average salary is $150,000 in the US and 15 lakhs per annum in India. So if you want to become an expert AI and ML professional with this PGP in AI and ML that is delivered in partnership with IBM, this artificial intelligence course covers the latest tools and technologies from the AI ecosystem and features master classes by Caltech faculty and IBM experts, hackathons and ask me anything sessions. This program showcases Caltech CTME's excellence and IBM's industry prowess. The artificial intelligence course covers key concepts like statistics, data science with Python, machine learning, deep learning, NLP, and reinforcement learning through an interactive learning model with live sessions. Enroll now and unlock exciting AI and ML opportunities. The course link is mentioned in the description box below. With that having said, hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. But before we dive into that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And in this video, we'll cover topics like what is ensemble learning, and after that we'll look what is bagging and boosting. Following that, we'll cover steps to perform bagging and boosting. After this, we'll look at some advantages of bagging and boosting. And at last, we'll see the difference between bagging and boosting. So without any further ado, let's get started. And we'll start with what is ensemble learning. The ensemble methods in machine learning combines the insights obtained from multiple learning models to facilitate, accurate, and improve decisions. Ensemble learning enhances machine learning outcomes by combining multiple models, leading to superior predictive performance in contrast to using a single model. The fundamental concept involves training a group of classifiers, referred to as experts, enabling them to collectively make predictions through voting. Bagging and boosting represent two types of ensemble learning techniques. Both methods effectively reduce the variability inherent in a single estimate by combining multiple estimates from diverse models. Consequently, the outcome can be a more stable model. Let's first take a look at some real-world examples that will simplify the concepts that are at the core of ensemble learning. Example 1. If you are planning to buy an air conditioner, would you enter a showroom and buy the air conditioner that the salesperson show you? The answer is probably no. In this day and age, you are likely to ask your friends, family and colleagues for an opinion do research and on various portals about different models and visit a few review sites before making a purchase decision. In a nutshell, you would not come to a conclusion directly. Instead, you would try to make an informed decision after considering diverse opinions and reviews. And moving forward, let's see what is bagging and after that we'll cover what is boosting machine learning. So we'll start with what is bagging. Bagging also known as bootstrap aggregating. It's an ensemble learning technique that helps to improve the performance and accuracy of machine learning algorithms. It is used to deal with bias variance, trade-offs, and reduces the variance of a prediction model. Bagging avoids overfitting of data and is used for both regression and classification models, especially for decision tree algorithms. Now, we'll see steps to perform bagging. So first, consider there are N observations and M features in the training set. You need to select a random sample from the training data set without a replacement. And then you have a subset of M features that is chosen randomly to create a model using sample observations. The feature offering the best split out of the lot is used to split the nodes. The tree is grown so you have the best root nodes and the above steps are repeated N times. It aggregates 
the output of individual decision trees to give the best prediction. So these are the steps to perform bagging. Now we will move to advantages of bagging in machine learning. So the first advantage is bagging minimizes the overfitting of data. The next is it improves the model's accuracy. And the third advantage is it deals with higher dimensional data efficiently. And now we'll see what is boosting in machine learning. After seeing the advantages of bagging, now we'll move to boosting. So boosting is an assemble modeling method that aims to create a robust classifier by combining multiple weak classifiers. This technique involves constructing a sequence of models using weak models. Initially, a model is built using the training data. Subsequently, a second model is constructed, which seeks to rectify the errors made by the first model. This process is iterated with additional models being added until either the entire training dataset is accurately predicted or the maximum number of models is reached. Now, we'll see steps to perform boosting. The training process for boosting models varies depending on the specific boosting algorithm employed. However, in general, an algorithm follows these steps to train a boosting model. Now we'll see those steps and the first step is the boosting algorithm initially assigns equal weight to each data sample. It then feeds the data into the first base algorithm, also known as the base model. The base model generates predictions for each data sample. And then we have the step 2. The boosting algorithm evaluates the predictions made by the base model and increases the weights of samples with larger errors. It also assigns weight based on the performance of the model. A model that produces more accurate predictions will have a greater influence on the final decision. And then we have the step 3. The algorithm passes the weighted data to the next iteration, which typically involves training another decision tree or model. Then we have the step 4. The algorithm repeats step 2, step 3 iteratively until the training errors falls below a specific threshold or until a predefined stopping criterion is met. Now we will see the advantages of boosting. The first advantage is it effectively handles data sets with higher dimensions. And the other advantage is it effectively handles missing values and maintains accuracy even with incomplete data. Now this is the time to see the difference between bagging and boosting. So we will start with bagging. So randomly selected subsets of training data that are drawn with the displacement from the entire training data set. And in boosting, every new subset includes the elements that were incorrectly classified by preceding models. And the next difference is, backing aims to address the problem of overfitting. And in boosting, it aims to minimize bias. And if we talk about the bagging, when the classifier exhibits instability with high variance, the application of bagging becomes necessary. And in boosting, when the classifier is stable and straightforward, indicating high bias, the application of boosting becomes necessary. And in bagging, each model is assigned an equal weight. Whereas in boosting, the models are assigned weights based on their performance. And in bagging, the object is to reduce variance rather than bias and while in boosting the objective is to reduce bias rather than variance and with that we have come to the end of this session if you have any doubts please feel free to comment down in the comment section and our instructors would be happy to help you till then stay safe keep learning and get ahead staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.